it's my last day in Paris, sadly. I'm sad about that. Um, and I've done a lot of really cool things and I've seen a lot of really cool things. Uh, but today I'm going to check out some patisseries and some bakeries and eat some really delicious stuff. And we're gonna start with the oldest patisserie in Paris. Well, I found it. There it is. Sadly, it's closed because it's August in Paris. <sighs> Sigh. Okay, so no luck there, but this street is full of lots of different patisseries. And look, there's one right there. So if you know me at all, you know that I'm kind of addicted to kitchen gear. I really like my kitchen tools. I like my kitchen appliances. I love them all. And uh, I thought, you know, what better way to bring home some souvenirs of Paris than to get some French kitchen gear. Mm. Yeah, let's do this. That place was amazing. If you're in Paris, go there. The prices are great. The selection was unlike anything I've ever seen. Go, go, go. I love donuts. In fact, donuts are like one of my favorite things in the entire world. And so when I, I thought, okay, I'm in Paris, I've got to go find out who has the best donuts in Paris. And then as it turned out, we met the owner of this place in uh, a restaurant that we were having breakfast not too long ago. And so here we are today at Bone Shaker Donuts. Let's hope they're as good as Cartems. I mean, you know, maybe they're like the Paris version of Cartems. French department store here in Paris called Galerie Lafayette and it's all the huge big name brands but for me the real reason to come here is for the amazing view from the top floor check this out It's a 100% vegan restaurant here in Paris. It's tough to find vegan food here. I mean, it's there and the culture is growing. Uh, vegan and vegetarian food, sorry. It's there, the culture's growing for sure, but this is definitely a very meat-eating country. They do like their meat. Um, I just had vegan aquafaba um, macarons there. Amazing. Okay, that was a really crazy day. It was very busy. I ate a lot of really good food for my last day in Paris and I just uh, finished up on this great patio oh, oh look what's right over there and I had a glass of wine and I got to stare at that amazing thing uh, this has been a really great trip I, uh, I feel my heart is very full my stomach is very full um, it's been amazing so yeah, thanks so much for watching. Please um, subscribe to my channel and give me a like, thumbs up. Bah, not me. Give the Eiffel Tower a thumbs up. I mean, it deserves it. It's pretty amazing. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.